What's going on, Fresh? Welcome back to a new American Truck Simulator video. Today, we have an exciting episode, guys. I actually ended up grabbing the, the flatbed that I was using right here. This is a 53-footer, four-axle flatbed that I kind of missed so much. And I was like, you know what? Let's grab it for today's episode. And uh, we're going to be delivering scrapped cars. So right now we are heading to uh, one of the uh, the factories over here. And we're going to pick up scrapped cars and deliver them to a location about two hours away. So I'm really excited about today's episode. I hope you guys are as well. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Here we go. I think this drive is going to be really nice and fairly quick, hopefully pretty easy. Let's go ahead and uh, pick out the job that I wanted to do. Hopefully it hasn't expired yet and uh, I don't think it will. I don't think it will. This is the one that I wanted to do. Scra uh, scrapped cars, 49,000 pounds from the Dallas, Oregon to Pendleton, Oregon, which uh, I don't think we've discovered yet I could be wrong but um let's go ahead and take this job it only pays four thousand dollars guys we're not gonna be making money this way what is going on all right we are over here by metal west company and uh yeah today I want to make sure that we kind of don't have any problems backing up so to speak. So I'm gonna try. Hmm, how do we do this? I think I know what I'm gonna do actually. We have to back it up right over there. But today I wanted to keep it a little bit challenging for myself and I'm gonna try and um, back into spaces first try. Alright, so over here when we're first picking up scrap cars and at our destination when we're going to be offloading these vehicles. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop around all the way and then we'll back it up into the spot we're going to. Here we go. We have to take this a little wide because of how everything is located here with all of these metal beams here. And as I stated before, the turning radius on this truck is just not that amazing. Alright, I think we're making it. Yes, look at this. Perfection. And then we have to back it into the spot over here. Should be pretty easy now. Now that I have outmaneuvered the game. The game was like, you know what? We're going to throw something hard at him today. And I'm like, nope, not today. I got this. All right, so here we go, guys. First try. Man, if I mess this up, then it's then it's really on me, you know? <laughs> this, is, this is pretty easy. This is like as easy as it gets in this game. All right. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. This is going to be perfection, guys. Look at this. Wabam! How perfect. That doesn't get any better than that. Do I have any more room in the back? This trailer is so long. It's like insane. All right. This is perfect. Dude, this truck is looking really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get things loaded here. I think we have to uh, turn off the engine first, and uh, here we go. They're loading the cargo. All right, guys, so it looks like we are loaded and ready to go. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about the direction of the videos as far as American Truck Simulator is concerned, because do you guys enjoy the videos and uh, I'm talking about like the team fresh trucking do you guys want to see more the progress of how the company is growing and things like that 
let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully we can make this turn over here. But yeah, basically uh, hiring, you know, new drivers, expanding our operation and things like that. Do you guys enjoy that? Uh, buying new trucks and just watching us kind of grow. Let me know if you guys do like this. Or do you guys prefer like crazy custom maps, dangerous roads and things like that? Or maybe a little bit of both. And also, speaking of that actually, let's uh, let's get out of here real quick. I did find a Columbia Death Road map, which looks really, really crazy, really exciting. I think Jeff Aviano did an episode with it, and I really want to do it too. I don't know if it's compatible with the latest version of American Truck Simulator, which is what I'm on, which is 1.43. I really don't know if it works. Like, I did download it. It does say it works with 1.40. So, I'm kind of hopeful that it will work. Oh, but I'm not quite sure. I guess only time will tell. But, yeah. I wanted to let you guys know that that is coming up. And uh, that will be an exciting one if I can make it work but yeah and also of course there's Forza Horizon 5 that I started doing more episodes with so let me know which one you guys prefer or do you guys like a variety right so we do the team fresh trucking where we grow our operation and we also do some dangerous roads and we also do Forza Horizon 5 let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the variety personally. Just because like when I did GTA 5 for such a long time. It was like, it was killing me. <laughs> like I wanted to play other games, you know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And we'll go from there. Maybe we'll keep doing this variety and I'll just keep my eyes open on the views and seeing what interests you guys the most. Discovered a new viewpoint from over here. We have a several car crash over there. But yeah. Let's go. I'm really excited to introduce Forza Horizon 5 to the channel, honestly, because I love racing games as well. I do like how chill these episodes are, like I can talk to you guys about anything, my personal struggles with the channel, things like that. We've discussed like a lot of different things on these drives, you know, it's more like a podcast, right? We just get to chill relax and drive sometimes crazy things do happen like we flip the truck where we crash or you know but I do like these episodes it's kind of like a nice balance between this and you know maybe Forza Horizon 5 or the dangerous roads of Honduras or the Columbia death road hopefully I can get that map to work on the latest version of American Truck Simulator because there are some roads there that are like insane. There are some bridges that you don't want to drive on but I want to drive on those and see if we can survive. <laughs> if we can drive there without crashing. So I guess we'll see. As far as the Team Fresh trucking, uh, I think I already told you guys, but I'm trying to save up some money in the meantime just so we can expand our operation. You know, my next goal, I think, is to upgrade the garage. Like, I really, like, 
I don't think we should be buying any more things, right? We have four trucks, we have four trailers, we have four drivers. Like, it wouldn't make sense for me to buy another truck or another trailer or anything else for that matter until we upgrade the garage. So, I really want to upgrade both of our garages. Maybe we'll start with the one in San Diego because it only has one bay. There's one driver there. And I feel like we're missing out on a lot of potential revenue. So, I think my goal would be to expand that first. Hire a driver and then purchase a truck for him or her. Let's see. Let's see how that works. For that, I think I need a lot of money. I don't know how much money it takes to... Ooh, hold on. Let's take a look. Wow. This is, uh... This is pretty here. But yeah. I don't know how much money it takes to... Upgrade the garage. But I know we need... Like, I don't know, $1,700 to hire the driver initially, which isn't expensive at all. But the truck is going to cost us some money. But I'm thinking we're going to buy a basic truck for maybe like $120,000, $130,000. Something like that. So, we probably need closer to $200,000 for everything that I want to do at first. Maybe 150000 We'll see. But that's kind of like the idea. This is where I see the progression. We're going to upgrade both of the garage spaces, hire drivers, purchase more trucks. And that way we have more revenue coming in as well. We're making a lot more money. So, yeah. And while we do that, honestly, dude, I really, I miss this trailer. I think the flatbed is really, oh, our uh, exit's coming up. I think the flatbed is really my favorite trailer in the game. Just because of like the variety of different things you can put on it in transport. Alright. Let's go. Our destination is actually right over here. But yeah, I wanted to uh, just quickly ask you guys what your thoughts were on, you know, the future content. I think, I think variety is really where I want to go. You know, we do some American Truck Simulator, we do some Forza Horizon 5 and see what performs better and then maybe we can add other games to uh to the mix all right we are actually right here oh this is i thought we we're gonna have to take that turn never mind it's this one that's coming up here that would have been really tight if we had to go there But yeah, and then we can add maybe more racing games or more truck-related games. I feel like we're kind of like, you know, plateaued with this game as far as, you know, the views are concerned. Like, I'm getting solid, you know, numbers. Like, I could expect, like, I don't know, five to 7,000 views, essentially. At a bare minimum with like American Truck Simulator type videos. Well, I don't know if I'm actually making that. I'm not making that. So I'm really happy to like experiment with other games, so. And I don't wanna just stop, you know, 
playing American Truck Simulator because we've done such great progress and I truly do enjoy the game. So, all right, here we go. We're actually making it perfectly. So part of the challenge is, is that I wanted to make sure that we can uh, park the trailer first try. So, we've done it at the uh, the loading spot, and now this is the drop-off spot. We'll see if we can drop it off first try without, you know, reparking several times. Oh, this is good. They're going to make this really challenging for me. Yeah, it's that spot right over there. Wow, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn around here. I mean, I'm going to try, but this is the spot straight ahead. This is where we need to go. Let me see if I can turn around here. This is kind of really narrow here. I feel like if I was driving any other truck, I would have been able to turn around first try. But with this truck, no way. It's like, this is the max turning radius. We're like doing the K-turn over here. Oh, gonna have to fix it one more time. Not ideal, but it'll do. The trailers shouldn't hit anything, I don't think. Yeah, perfect. And they're only paying me $4,000 for this? Come on, bro. Come on, man. All right. This is gonna be tough to do first try. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Just because of that dumpster that they put up right where we need to go, essentially. So I'm thinking we're gonna start turning like right now. And then even the out. This might work. I just, yeah. The game is trying to make things a little more challenging for me than it has to. I don't think we'll be able to do this first try, honestly. I don't think so. It'll be close. Whoa! Okay! They're actually taking it. I'm really close to uh, the wall here. I think I'm about to hit it. Oh, but... There we go. Alright. This is pretty nice! You know? We managed to do this first try. I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Dude, I'm, I'm like still in love with this truck. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and unload our cargo. And uh, we're going to be done here. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of videos you guys want to see moving forward. Do you want us to continue with the Team Fresh trucking? Uh, do you guys want us to continue with the dangerous roads and, like, crazy terrain uh, driving, truck driving? And do you guys want us to continue with the Forza Horizon 5 series? And, of course, if you guys have any other suggestions for other games. But anyways, I'm going to wrap it up right here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys already know what to do. Do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.